Yes, happening. there already have been tapes uh, leaking around Hollywood, being shopped around to individuals in Hollywood. But one particular person contacted me to shop a particular video they were in possession of. I was hoping that even the client that I contacted would reach out and see and kind of alert that person that this was going on and to possibly help them. The person who has the tape really doesn't want to shop it around. I also was just recently contacted by someone who wanted me to essentially represent them in the sale of one of the Diddy tapes. So actually, uh, I recently was contacted by one of my business partners, who's also an attorney, who said to me, well, why are we not writing the demand letter to try to do the catch and kill? And I said, well, if you want to do it, uh, then I'll connect you and you can essentially do it. Uh, he was also concerned about wanting to protect the other person. Listen up to this bombshell. There's a new accusation claiming Beyonce and Diddy might have been involved in something together. Things aren't looking too great for Beyonce lately, because ever since Diddy's situation blew up, her name keeps getting pulled into it. To be clear, there's no proof connecting Beyonce to any of this. But because her husband, Jay-Z, is close with Diddy, people online are convinced she must know something. If you've been on TikTok lately, you might have seen videos of the trend, Thank You, Beyonce. With the audio, she knows. It might be a fun and witty trend, but once you get the gist of where it all came from, you'd be terrified. And if that's not enough, rumors are flying that a tape showing Beyonce and Diddy is being shopped around to different media outlets. Reportedly, they're offering millions for it, with TMZ currently in the lead. Word is, the tape could drop any minute, and it might expose a lot of celebrities who were caught up in Diddy's infamous parties. There's a lot to unpack here, but of course, before we start opening Pandora's box, make sure that you first subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell for more updates and videos like this. I, household name, very much so. Uh, more of a household name than Mr. Combs. Wow, And really? uh, criminality, they are engaged in. All right, so we know that he videotaped a lot of activities at his home, did he? Um, and it sounds like there was probably a lot of hidden cameras as well. Is that what is being talked about? Yes, um, this was actually in his Atlanta home, at okay. a home he had in Atlanta at one point. And um, it does seem that it's, the person isn't like looking into the video, so it's, to me, doesn't seem like that person knows they're being videotaped. It doesn't seem like they're active participant in the videotaping, like they're being surreptitiously recorded. Mm -hmm. uh, mainly because I've known about this for about three and a half weeks to about a month. I've been communicating with these people who purport to have that videotape. And it wasn't until Thursday night that they outright said, can you write on your letterhead a letter to the individual who's also in the tape and see if they're interested in a catch and kill. And is that something will give you X amount of percentage of it? And at the time I was like, uh, I, I don't think I want to be involved in this, but I hadn't had time to process. But the other attorney I'm speaking of, uh, he's pretty much been in the know. A few days ago, some photos from one of Diddy's wild parties leaked, showing celebrities in some pretty questionable situations. One photo shows Diddy pouring champagne on two people while they were getting a little too comfortable, clearly for his entertainment. Another photo features one of Diddy's friends in a pool with two escorts, engaging in some very intimate behavior. There were also photos of some big names at the party like Kim Kardashian, Paris Hilton, Chris Brown, Leonardo DiCaprio, and even more. The internet went crazy over these images, but they're saying it's nothing compared to the rumored footage of Diddy and Beyonce, which is supposedly about to be sold and made public. Big deal, because when you're talking about going back in time and talking about these allegations from other alleged victims, you know, there's not a lot of police reports, but you guys actually have one. And is that going to be revealed? Are we going to be able to see it? Yes, as soon as uh, I file my lawsuit in civil court, I will be attaching the criminal complaint that was made. I'll attach the number so everyone can see that this is a real number and can go to the police department there and request their own copy of that police report that was made back in 2018. Uh, he's pretty much been in the know the entire time uh, since I first got contacted by these individuals with the tape. And um, we're pursuing now a meeting with the three of us for us to broker, I guess, a situation 
where we'll have certain guarantees that once we make the representations to the person in the tape, that we have some level of uh, assurances that this is a valid tape. These rumors started when an attorney named Ariel Mitchell Kidd gave an interview recently, revealing some disturbing details from a new client. The client is also suing Diddy for S.A. Though the client's name wasn't shared, she claims to have met Diddy in 2018 at a friend's house. After having drinks that Diddy allegedly spiked, she started feeling out of it and eventually passed out. She then says Diddy essayed her using an object and even had another man in the room join in. What's even more shocking is that Diddy's assistant, Christina Corum, was also in the room during the essay. According to the client, Diddy and Christina were casually talking about intimacy while it was happening. Told me that she was at a friend's house who had industry ties and was on the phone with Diddy and he decided to come to the house. And when he came to the house, everything was fine that there was another woman there who we've determined to be Christina Corum, KK, who Diddy talks about a lot as his like right hand woman, if you will, and that they were discussing her. And uh, then that led to her being served a drink where then she started to feel woozy and then Mr. Combs with an inanimate object and then actually directed another gentleman to while he watched and pleasured himself. At some point during all this, she regained consciousness and managed to escape. She ran out of the house screaming for help until a neighbor let her in and called the police. Even though she filed a report, nothing came of it, likely because Diddy had paid off the authorities. This wasn't unusual for him. He reportedly did this with many of his victims. It wasn't until someone as famous as Cassie sued him that he finally faced serious consequences. Now, here's where things took a turn in the interview. Ariel mentioned that someone else contacted her about representing them in the sale of a tape from one of Diddy's parties, featuring him and a high-profile celebrity. Ariel said she watched the video and hinted that the celebrity in it is even more famous than Diddy and seemed unaware they were being filmed. Even though she didn't directly say it was Beyonce, people started speculating after Ariel's comment about the celebrity being more well-known than Diddy. The rumors only intensified when a viral video resurfaced showing DaBaby talking about a time he was invited to Diddy's house for a private meeting with Diddy, Beyonce, and Jay-Z. I've seen stills of the video. Okay. Um, I so you can verify that, I, I, that it exists, that it's real, that the other person in the video is very visible. It's no question if it's that person in the video. And I can tell the video was pornographic in nature. And just to be clear, two thoughts about this. One, is it a household name that we're talking about here? And secondly, are they engaged in any criminality from what you understand? Um, I, household name, very much so. Uh, more of a household name than Mr. Combs. Wow, And really? uh, criminality, they are engaged in pornography. Um, they're not doing anything illegal um, per se. Uh, I can't say that the, uh, well, I'll say this. My concern was that I could not verify the age of the individual. And so that was my concern about not having anything sent to me and viewing it in the way that I did uh, via stills, via FaceTime video. According to DaBaby, Beyonce walked up and introduced herself in a way that felt more flirty than friendly, like she was hinting at something more. He also claimed that Diddy eventually kicked out everyone except him, Beyonce and Jay-Z, and things got a bit weird when Diddy started touching him, even putting his hands around DaBaby's neck. In DaBaby's words, Diddy took a liking to him. You know. But it doesn't stop there. Remember when Diddy made the members of The Band walk all the way downtown in New York to get him a cheesecake? It's still unclear exactly where they were, but the walk took them four hours on foot just to get that cheesecake. People saw it as one of the first signs that something wasn't right with Diddy, but at the time, most found it funny, thinking it was just his way of testing the boy's loyalty. Yeah, because at first he was like, I want some cheese treat, but we took all night to do the process, right? So when we got back, it was like 4 or 5 in the morning, and uh, me and Dylan got back first. Let me tell you how green these niggas is. So I'm the type of nigga. I listen to everything you say as if it's a contract. So if you say, walk to the store, or walk to get me some cheesecake. I walk to get you some cheesecake, but I'm not walking back. And that's just what me and Dalon did. 
And they like, why y'all, y'all, you know, they, they hot. Like, y'all, you, y'all cheating. And we like, he told us to walk. He didn't tell us to walk back. So we already in the hotel like three hours before they got there. When they said they was coming, we went and met him in front of the building. Recently, Freddie P., one of the members of the band, shared in an interview with Art of Dialogue that the cheesecake wasn't actually for Diddy. It was for Beyonce. Yes, you heard that right. Apparently, she told Diddy she wanted cheesecake, and instead of sending her own team, she let Diddy make the band walk hours to get it. Then, she stood by as he humiliated them on his TV show Making the Band. You'd think she might have felt bad for them after all that, but supposedly, she didn't care and ate the cheesecake anyway. I'm like, my son was just born. I ain't got time for this. I used to make $100 a day before I met P. Diddy. It wasn't much, but I had a son on the way. It was a, it was a lot back then. Like, you feel me? So... I'm like, man, I ain't got time for that off down the block. Man, I swear to God, everything I love, man. As he, he walked off, he had two security guys, Uncle Paul and another nigga with him, and he walked off. And then nigga got to the end of the block where I was, and nigga said, gave me doubt. Nigga said, I respect that money. Like. As if that wasn't enough to fuel rumors about Beyonce being involved in that tape, some people even started saying maybe it was Jay-Z in the video. There have been whispers about Diddy and Jay-Z being very close, with rumors flying that Diddy had hooked up with Jay a few times. These rumors blew up when a clip went viral of Diddy slapping Jay's butt on stage, almost like a signal that something more might be happening after the show. Honestly, this whole thing is a mess. Now, just to be clear, there's no confirmation that Beyonce is in that tape. We'll just have to wait and see if TMZ buys it and releases it. But for now, everything about her involvement is just speculation. Ever since the lid came off this whole situation, Jaguar Wright has been sharing all kinds of details about leaked footage from Diddy's place, giving everyone a glimpse into what really happens at his parties. We've all heard the wild stories about Diddy's famous parties, but this just takes things to another level. Now the internet is buzzing about an investigation going on at Diddy's house, thanks to some legal issues he's facing. Diddy started 2023 on a high note, nailing it at the MTV VMAs, dropping a hit R&B album, and even rumors about him buying BET. But things quickly went downhill. He's now dealing with multiple lawsuits, accusing him of some serious stuff. This sudden shift from success to legal trouble has definitely cast a shadow over his career. I'm gonna make it easy. Sue me. Yes. I want to be sued. <laughs> I want to be sued. The investigation into Combs began after serious allegations arose from several civil lawsuits in New York, including one in federal court last December that accused him of S.A. and exploitation. Combs has consistently denied these claims. Now, multiple accusations are emerging against Diddy, including unsettling links to his ex-wife Kim Porter's demise. Kamora Lee Simmons, a close friend of Kim's, is urging authorities to reopen the investigation, convinced that something is amiss and that she may have more information. Upon hearing the news of Kim's tragic demise, Kamora rushed to Kim's home, visibly heartbroken over her friend's unexpected passing, especially since Kim showed no signs of illness. New developments suggest that Kim's pneumonia diagnosis might not tell the full story. Suspicion is growing particularly after the coroner who investigated her case passed away shortly after discovering a potentially harmful poison. My whole thing about it is, is that it was always a between those two, physically. But Kim got tired of it and she wasn't taking her. If he put his hands on her, she was going at him. God. Back when Kim passed away, the coroner said there needed to be a deeper investigation, but he was soon replaced by another coroner. It took this new one quite a while to announce that Kim passed away from pneumonia. Here's where it gets suspicious. The new coroner never mentioned the toxins that were found in Kim's body. Did someone pressure him to stay silent? There are also reports that Kim and Diddy weren't on good terms in the days leading up to her passing, which is people wondering about Diddy's possible involvement in all this. Diddy is really feeling the heat now. According to Rolling Stone, as of 2023, 18 companies have cut their ties with his online store, Empower Global. The Source magazine also said that his clothing line, Sean John, was being phased out and wouldn't be available in Macy's stores come 2024. On top of that, Radar Online reported that the Recording Academy have even considered uninviting Diddy from the 2024 Grammys, with a representative saying, we're taking this very seriously and looking into it carefully. The hip-hop community has been grappling with issues like toxic masculinity and misogyny for a long time, so it's encouraging to see influential figures in the industry standing up against this kind of behavior. 
At first, 50 Cent's comments about Diddy might have seemed like a joke, but as more serious accusations come to light, it's concerning how many leaders in this billion-dollar industry could overlook ongoing complaints about mistreatment of women. Now, who might be behind Diddy? Recent reports suggest that it could be none other than Jay-Z and Beyonce. There are claims that Diddy might have been involved in the demise of Jay-Z's alleged mistress, Kathy White. It's strange that there's so little information about Kathy, who reportedly passed away under questionable circumstances back in 2011. Journalist Liz Cronkin is stirring the pot by saying she spoke to Kathy before her passing and dropped hints that Jay-Z could be in hot water. To make things even more interesting, old blog posts are resurfacing with claims that people spotted Kathy hanging out with both Jay-Z and Diddy. With all this drama surrounding Diddy, fans are starting to wonder if Jay-Z could be next to face serious trouble. Back in early September 2011, there was a lot of chatter in the local news and celebrity blogs about a young woman named Kathy White. Some outlets even called her Jay-Z's rumored side chick. But with all the excitement over Beyonce's surprise pregnancy announcement, Kathy's story didn't get the attention it deserved. In fact, many of those same media outlets that initially covered Kathy later scrubbed her from their sites, choosing to focus instead on Beyonce's pregnancy. Seems a bit suspicious, right? Beyonce's on. She's been on them for a long time. And you keep her that way. After Kathy and Claudia Jordan were spotted partying with Jay-Z and Diddy at a Las Vegas nightclub, the gossip started to swirl. Sure, fame comes with rumors, but it can still be tough. Recently, Liz Cronkin's tweet resurfaced, claiming that she had talked to Kathy before her passing and knows what really happened. Some people brush Liz off, while others find her claims troubling. Diddy's ties to Jay-Z and Kathy definitely raise some eyebrows. Plus, there are whispers about Jay-Z and Beyonce being linked. <laughs> the speculation about Beyonce often ties back to how similar she and Aaliyah were. Both started in R&B and were building acting careers with similar dreams and ambitions. Some theories suggest that the Illuminati, which is said to influence the industry, may have preferred Beyonce to take the lead, getting rid of Aaliyah, who was rumored to be distancing herself from those forces. Even with Beyonce's rise to global fame and her massive fan base, some people believe that Aaliyah's passing was a calculated decision to remove the competition. Aaliyah's unique style and originality still inspire many female artists today. Some think that Beyonce admired Aaliyah and even wanted to emulate her. As various conspiracy theories circulate, there's a growing call for justice for Aaliyah. Fans strongly feel that the case should be reopened, insisting that those who may have been involved should be held accountable. The unsettling thought that a beloved celebrity's demise might be tied to something sinister drives a collective demand for the truth. While Jay-Z and Beyonce are often viewed as Hollywood's ultimate power couple, their relationship hasn't always been smooth. Yes, they have nearly $4 billion in net worth, a stunning mansion, and plenty of respect in the industry. But that's just the surface. Behind the scenes, their journey has been filled with more drama than one might expect. If you haven't been keeping up with the gossip about their love life, buckle up. It's been a wild journey with plenty of highs, lows, and some serious messiness. And let's not forget how their relationship had a pretty unconventional start. When they first met, Beyonce was still a teenager, while Jay-Z was in his 30s. Reflecting on those early days, Beyonce once shared in an interview, I was 18 when we met, 19 when we started dating. There was no rush. No one expected me to run off and get married. Beyonce and Jay-Z started dating when she was just 19 and he was 31, which had fans buzzing about the age gap. Some even speculated that Jay-Z might have been grooming her. Things got more complicated with rumors suggesting they might have been involved before Beyonce was of legal age, raising even more eyebrows. Fans have noticed inconsistencies in Beyonce's timeline. She said in one interview they began dating when she was 19, but in another, she claimed to be 20. The mixed-up dates makes you wonder how much of their love story is really out there. What is it about this marriage that's so special that you would fight this hard to, to save it? Well, it's my soulmate. It's the person I love, you know. And you, and you, you can be in love with someone. You can love someone and you not... And if you haven't experienced love and you don't understand it and you don't have the tools to move forward, then you're going to have complications. Period. People are saying the confusion around Beyonce's timeline might mean she's hiding something. After all this time, keeping the story straight could be tough, which might explain the changing dates. It's not just the age difference that raises questions. The power dynamics in their relationship have been under scrutiny since the beginning. Beyonce was gaining fame, but Jay-Z was already a huge player in the music industry, with far more influence at the time. From the start, many questioned whether their relationship was as picture-perfect as it seemed, especially with the age gap and Jay-Z's status. 
However, as time went on, the balance began to shift. Beyonce blossomed into Hollywood's reigning queen, becoming a superstar with the record for the most Grammy wins ever. Still, even with all her success, the skepticism lingered. Jay-Z found himself facing criticism, with accusations flying and even claims of him being a predator. Now fast forward to the latest drama. Rumors are flying that Jay-Z may have used narcotics and substances to control Beyonce. Suddenly, all those side-eye looks and wild accusations from the past don't seem so far-fetched anymore. It's starting to make sense why people were so suspicious all along. Plus, there's the fact that Jay-Z was Beyonce's first serious relationship. She's even talked about how she didn't have a typical childhood or teenage years because she was so focused on her career. She said, My teenage years were about the grind. My energy went into Destiny's Child and the dream. Dream of us getting a record deal and becoming musicians. If something wasn't helping me reach my goal, I decided to invest no time in it. I didn't feel like I had time to kiki or hang out. I sacrificed a lot of things and ran from any possible distraction. Get on the floor, get on the mattress, and you have to really work through it and really be honest and, and no matter how many times it takes a while it's hard it's very difficult it's very difficult to hear difficult to say it's difficult to you know to listen to that sort of pain beyonce wasn't just 12 years younger than jay-z she also didn't have much experience with relationships she's talked about how her teenage years were mostly spent working leaving her little time to date this made their relationship seem even more questionable as time passed, the conversation changed from was she groomed to did Beyonce feel trapped in her marriage. Now that she's older and has more life experience, people are starting to wonder if she was truly in control back then or just a young girl who didn't fully grasp what she was getting into. Those rumors have turned out to be more than just chatter. Insiders have begun sharing stories, saying that Beyonce wasn't just feeling constrained, she was genuinely stuck. Multiple sources claim that Jay-Z was obsessed with controlling her, keeping all the power, and essentially running her life. She didn't have the freedom to make her own choices. This makes it look like a major power play, prompting many to rethink the notion of their picture-perfect marriage. Now I want to hear your thoughts. Do you think it was really Beyonce in that alleged situation with Diddy? And do you believe Diddy will spill the beans on her once the trial kicks off? Let me know what you think in the comments below. That's all for today. We hope you enjoyed that video, and if you did, make sure to hit like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more videos like this.